Cataract Gorge is a natural dolerite amphitheatre through which the South Esk River flows. The river has historically provided the town of Launceston with its drinking water, and this is a role that it continues to serve today. The gorge is a culturally significant indigenous site. It's been used by bushrangers to shelter along the cliff faces. It was an area used for bathing and eeling in the developing town of Launceston. But its most obvious historical use that's evident today was as a late 1800s recreation ground. The developed section of the gorge is heritage listed as a strong representation of the notions of the Victorian Pleasure Grounds movement. The track that runs along the edge of the cliff face is described as a rarity as an example of a late 19th century path. And it's along this path that we'll meet some patrons who frequented the gorge during this Pleasure Grounds era. The two women seen here sitting on anvil or dog rock along the gorge path are Alice Masters and her close relative, Mary Weymouth. The water race that used to funnel river water through to Ritchie's flour mill further down at the gorge mouth can be seen here along the rock face in the background. In 1876, David Ritchie purchased the existing Burke Street Mill and the gravity-fed water race existed until it was damaged during the 1929 floods, which eventually led to the mill being run on electricity until it was closed down. The mill's iconic concrete silos that still stand on the banks of the Tamar River today would not have yet been constructed at the time of the Dog Rock image, so the townscape would have looked something more like this. This photograph, also featuring Alice Masters, depicts the cascades which spilled down from the water race along the cliff face at the time. Alice was married to notable Launceston figure Alfred H. Masters, who could be seen here on one of the family's frequent picnic visits to the gorge grounds. Masters was an architect who worked with the firm T.H. Gunn 
and he is responsible for several notable buildings around the city, including the early use of reinforced concrete on the Malbray Racecourse Grandstand, as well as the Examiner newspaper offices, and several more austere pre- and post-depression era houses that still stand around the town today. He was also an early advocate of the use of hydroelectric power that would lead to the Dugreach power station being constructed. He pioneered X-ray photography in Australia and he led the electrification of several rural Tasmanian towns. The Masters family spent many years living on the hillside suburb of Trevelin. And this historic image depicts a small boy sitting on the railing which runs up from the gorge to the suburb. The track, as well as the one along the cliff grounds further down, seems to have remained largely intact. This photo along the track to the Duck Reach power station shows an unnamed worker constructing the path along the edge of the river up the cliff face. The 1929 floods destroyed much of the Duck Reach hydroelectric station, including the Duck Reach suspension bridge and the building that housed the turbines. This main building was rebuilt almost identically to the original allowing a modern image of 2022 to line up with this photograph of children watching the floods from the trap along the gorge back in 29. This final image depicts the Masters family picnicking on the rocks beneath the Dark Reef Suspension Bridge. on which the teacups sat over a hundred years ago remains as it was. Though this generation of the Masters family have come and gone, their presence in the gorge seems only just out of reach.